so I wasn't going to make a video today. Well, I wanted to make a video today, and I started to make one, but I could only do half of it. It'll make sense tomorrow. Tomorrow there's going to be a really good video. There's going to be a 5,000 subscriber special. I think it's going to be a really good one. You guys definitely don't want to miss it. It leaves me with today. I've been getting a lot of questions recently about people who've been asking, like, how do you get started with tricking? Like, how do you teach yourself that? How do you even know what to learn? So I thought I'd make a video on that. I thought I'd make, like, a video of, like, my story on how I started tricking from 2008 up until now, pretty much. Yeah, I started tricking in 2008. I could already do a front flip on a trampoline and a backflip on a trampoline. Uh, my dad actually taught me how to do a backflip on a trampoline and I could do that for a couple of years before, I think. I think my very first YouTube video I must have been like 12 years old or something. I had like my school uniform on and I was doing like front flips off the trampoline. But I learned to backflip on the ground in 2007. But I'll show you, I'll show you some clips from my first, my first ever tricking video. And at this point I didn't know what tricking was. For my whole first year of tricking I just was doing flips. It was around this time that I got my first video camera as well, and I just wanted to film stuff. And I didn't know what to film, so I thought like, what's cooler than like just filming myself doing flips? Because I was always doing flips and stuff as a kid. I was always like jumping around watching Power Rangers. I was doing these flips for like a year or so. It must have been towards the end of 2008. I got someone added me on MSN. And I don't know if you guys know what MSN is, but it was like some messenger site. And it was actually Sean, like the guy I live with, Baby Black. And he seen my YouTube videos, um, mainly of me like on trampoline. That's one thing as well, like my first year of flips was mainly trampoline. I was really pushing that and then I would try and do some of the stuff on the ground but I didn't really care about that. But yeah, Sean's seen these videos and he, he lives like two hours away from me and we're like 14 year old kids and he's like, yo, your flips are really cool. Like, and then I checked out his YouTube channel and yeah, his flips were really cool. And then, so Sean was actually like training like tricking. I didn't know what tricking was. I'm sure he like linked me to like tricks tutorials or something which was this old forum that was run by Juji Mufu. And then that was on that that I learned what I'd been doing was actually could be called tricking, but at the time really it was like free running, tricking, flips, it was a bit of everything. And Sean like specifically did tricking. And that was my introduction to it. Sean was the first tricker that I ever like talked to. I think the first time I met Sean in person was like 2009. Actually it was, and I have I have some clips from like our very first session together. This was also my very first time in a gym. <laughs> And it was actually really good. It was my first time doing cork swing cork and maybe my first double fall as well. And I just kind of, from that session onwards, I was like, okay, what I'm doing is tricking. And we would just talk online. We were always sharing clips and stuff. And at the same time, I was uploading my videos to this tr tricking forum called uh, Tricks Tutorials. It doesn't exist anymore. But that was like the place you could post videos on. We kept hanging out every so often. Sean would come down to me. Um, I'd go to him. And then my first ever gathering was in 2009. And looking back, it wasn't really even a gathering. It was like a small get together at my friend Simon's house. But it was around this time where I felt like I started to get kind of good at tricks. And I mean, in hindsight, like, no, I was terrible. But like, I don't know, when, tri when you get better at tricking, it just gets more and more fun. And it was at this point that it was sort of snowballing. And from that point onwards, there's so much key moments in my tricking career that I could like mention, but I don't want to make this video too long. But like 2011, that was my first time going to an American gathering. I didn't just go to a gathering, we went on a road trip across all of America, like from the East Coast to the West Coast, back to the East Coast, up to Canada. And that was really good for me in terms of getting known as a tricker on the scene because I made my American trick tricking sampler from that and I think that's what like got me known to a lot of people and that was one of my most successful samplers Of training on the grass. There was a gym that was built near my hometown 
and that I could only train there one hour a week, and that was in 2013. I mean, I was living in Scotland as well, so it like rains all the time. Yeah, fast forward again to the end of 2015. That's when me, Sean, Ahmed, Kojo, we decided to move in together. We moved on to Birmingham when there was more gym access. And Kojo and Ahmed were already from here, and it just seemed like the right thing to do. Like, we know the guy who owns the gym that we train at, so he's really good to us. It means we can train pretty much as much as we want. So yeah, the gym situation now is a lot better. And just for me to not be in Scotland, like isolated away from other trickers, just to live with trickers and constantly be around each other, like that does really good things for your progression and just your mindset. And I can't believe it's been a whole year now that we've lived together. It's, it's going by really quick. But anyways, that's like a short, very compact history of how I started tricking. I'd watch people online, I would just search like YouTube videos of flips, like Urban Ninja, these old school YouTube viral hits of like flips and stuff. I would just watch them and try replicate them on trampoline and on the ground. And I taught everything myself. Uh, I was never taught tricking. A lot of people ask me like, you know, how can I start tricking? Just do what I did, just watch videos, just try copy it and yeah film yourself doing it post it online you'll get feedback from other people you might meet people in your area who are also doing it there's more and more places now that teach tricking but you really don't need to be taught tricking you can teach it yourself getting taught it definitely will help in the beginning for sure but it's not necessary if you don't have access to a gym or anyone to teach anything you just need to watch videos watch tutorials i have a couple of tutorials on this channel and to be honest they are very useful but this isn't me trying to plug those videos there's a ton of videos online that will help you learn so it took me six months to learn a full i think i did my first korok after maybe it was six months or something actually here's a clip of me trying my first korok and i actually knocked myself up and then here's a clip of me landing my first korok and this is my first double korok Landed my first triple full at the end of 2009. This is my first dub dub. I did my first triple cork in 2014 sometime. I did my first dub 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 in 2015. Hopefully this is useful or insightful in some way. There's been a ton of new subscribers to the channel, which is really cool. Um, and videos aren't always like this. They're usually more exciting. I'm usually out doing stuff. Make sure to check back tomorrow. It's gonna be a really good one. Give this video a like. Leave a comment how long you've been tricking. And if you don't trick, let me know in the comments why. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Check back tomorrow for the 5K special. It's gonna be a good one. I'll see you guys tomorrow.